these three. Jeremy, you get started. Colvin just what's it take to flush that last one and bounce back both individually and as a team for you? Uh, I think it takes a lot of mental toughness. Uh, I think uh, the, the good thing was we didn't have time to take a day off and just think about it. You know, we flowed right into practice uh, and uh, we came out and had two great days of just going hard and competing hard. Uh, kind of not even focusing on the Iowa Scout, just being us and working on the things we need to work on. So uh, just cleaning up the things we need to work on was really important and then flushing it and uh, being mentally mentally tough enough to get past it and not, not listen to what other people have to say about us. Nico, you, did you expect to play this much today and, and what did you been seeing in practice to that enabled you to get the confidence to come out and play well today? Uh, well, probably didn't expect it that much, but um, I mean, I'm always trying to stay ready for every game and stay mentally focused and dialed in. So I think um, um, I've been working hard since my injury, and today was um, I think I proved all, all my work I've, I've been I've been put in, and it's great, and um, it's great for the team too. Yes, Coleman and Justin both. What did maybe Nico and those four other guys? give you when you have Coach Holman like the full line change there early in the second half? I was, it was, uh, they just gave us a little bit more energy. Uh, that first group, you know, we, uh, halftime is always a little slow. Uh, you get out there and you're just shooting layups, you're doing layup lines for about four minutes. Um, but, you know, we, we didn't come out with a good start, but those guys went in. Uh, Nico was playing well. Uh, Nico played confident, Monty played really well, strong, physical, grabbing rebounds, Dane played well. Um, he missed some bunnies, but I thought he did a good job getting to the rim. Um, uh, Luke came in, you know, and I, I, I think they just did a good job coming in and, and not, uh, you know, even if it wasn't expected, but just going out there and playing hard and, uh, you know, being a boost for us. Justin, what was the Brad Underwood practice like on Thursday, and how did you feel like you guys responded based on coming out today? Um, I just feel like it was um, a little bit more intense than uh, some of the practice that we had this year, but uh, it was definitely a Brad Underwood practice. We burned up the pads and played a lot of defense, and it was, it was a lot of blood. Hey, Nico, when you check in with four of the guys, you're early in the second half, what did you want to do you know, at that point? Um, break energy. I mean, I think um, we were a little bit flat, and I think Amani's a big energy guy. Dan can bring energy. Justin is big and I'm too stuff. Um, try to, you know, um, bring everything to the team. Try to get rebounds, play hard, and that's what we try, we try to do. <coughs> yep. For Coleman, you know, you mentioned supporting those guys when they're out there. As part of the group that got taken out, as you mentioned, you were playing a little, a little slow to start. What's the mindset while you're sitting there watching that, you know, as you're thinking about what's going to happen when we do get back in the game? Um, you know, it, at first it's just frustrating because you, you wish you could, you know, you know, you see yourself coming out and you wish you could, like, flip it, like, right there and just get a second chance. But, you know, you got to come out the game and, and just support the guys that are on the court. Um, you know, just be positive. Um, and that's what we did. And, you know, we knew we'd get back in there. We knew those guys would play hard, get tired, get back in there. Um, but no, we just try to support them as much as we can. Um, and I thought they did a really good job of just going out there and playing hard. Um, you know, they, they didn't think too much. You know, Nico went in there uh, when he stayed in that, in, in that, that, that group with me, Marcus, Terrence, Justin, uh, and, and made some big shots. Um, so no, it was, it was just really good to see them go out and play hard. Coleman, for you personally, what was your process individually for flushing Wednesday and, and turning the page quickly? And I had to delete some apps, um, just get off social media, um, just try to limit who I talk to, um, not try, not, you know, not make any <coughs> excuses for myself, um, and just be a man, really. Uh, just man up and, and on to the next, you know. Um, and that's what I did tonight. You know, a lot of people would, uh, uh, honestly, like a lot of people were saying, 
you know, whatever they had to say, you know, I'm curious to see how they would have responded if they were me. Um, but I, I thought I did a good job of just being tough and going out tonight and, and, and letting everything go. Coleman, kind of, kind of along those lines, you, you closed this game out. I think I was scoring by 10 over the last six minutes. Was was the way the previous game ended in the back of your mind at all, or was it or were you just kind of in the moment? Yeah, not at all, no. I was just in the moment, just focused on playing hard for sure. Wasn't even thinking about it. That's for Coleman and Justin, what does Nico add, especially offensively to you guys, when he gets the opportunity to have those minutes like that? Uh, I think he adds a different pace. Uh, you know, just pace coming off ball screens, uh, looking low opposite. Um, he's good at those skips. Um, you know, coming off ball screens, he's good, good at reading ball screens and, and an extra passer. Um, and then just a little bit, a uh, little bit of bite on on on, um, on defense. You know, he's a smaller guard, um, but he's he's fast. He's uh, you know, it's a little bit easier for him to get through those ball screens because he's a little bit smaller. And you know, we almost at times have four or five forwards on the court. So, uh, no, it's good to see Nico go out there and, and, and play the way he did tonight. You got something? <coughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, I'll ask you this one then. What, what did it look like seeing Nico hit those two threes and, to get the lead back? And, and what's that say about him to step into that moment and help you guys close out the game? It was amazing. I, I always, um, I like seeing my teammates win. It was just amazing seeing him um, hit them two big shots that helped us bring the lead a little farther away. And, um, it just helped. It just helped him bring his confidence up because when he get in the game again, he's gonna do the same thing. So it was good that he hit those two threes. Just for you, Nico, like, you start to get in the rotation, you get hurt. Like, how did you kind of navigate all of that, and, and like, what kept you, I guess, I don't know, grounded or, or ready to be able to make this impact like you did? Uh, my teammates, Steph, um, always try to uh, stay around me and keep um, keep me focused, like mentally. Just try to like. Uh, came in the gym more than everybody else with treatment and then um, with time with uh, with the ball coming back and um, but it was hard mentally first of all and um, and trying to get a get into practice and uh, you're not able to 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 do what you what you used to be and um, but um, I'm glad now that um they've been helping me and um, I'm glad they're on me so Coleman Amani's given you guys some good minutes and also got had to come back from injury. What have you seen where he is now versus maybe earlier in the season? Yeah, I think uh, Amani adds some strength. You know, he's 6'6", six, six, like 240, 250. Um, you know, just not allowing post, t uh, post touches, uh, not, a not allowing bigs to get deep. You know, it's hard to score over there because he's so strong. Um, you know, he's a, he has long arms uh, and he just plays hard. Um, you know, he's a freshman, um, but he, he goes out and plays as hard as he can. Um, he's, he's always trying to make the right, uh, you know, ball screen calls. He's always talking on defense. So he's just, he's just been a good motor for us. Um, he's been positive for us, uh, good teammate. Uh, and uh, you know, he just adds a little different dimension. He's, you know, he's a little undersized, but still, he, he still gets the job done. So. Justin, what was the difference defensively maybe between the halves? You know, Iowa shot 62% in the first half, 35% in the second. Um, I just feel like we was being way more physical and uh, way more urgency on the defensive end. Like I feel like they got a little bit middle. Uh, they got a, they got middle a lot in the first half, and uh, that led to like easy buckets. But we just we just listened to our bigs and. I don't recall, and we just play with way more urgency on the defensive side, and it led to easy buckets on the offensive side. So that was great to see. <clears throat> Coleman, this is five straight seasons, 20 plus wins, winning Big Ten seasons every year. You've been a part of four of those. What's that say about the program? What's it say about what you guys have done? Uh, no, it's, it's big time because, uh, you know, obviously when I committed, I was fully aware, aware of where the uh, program was going. Um, so it's good to see that everything is still continuing, uh, and now it's starting to become a tradition. Uh, you know, I, I always, before I, you know, when I first got to Illinois, my, my biggest thing was like, just making the, making the program stay to like a place where like someone gets excited if they get an offer from Illinois. Um, you know, you know, 
being a uh, being big for like recruits, um, you know that that's that's some that that means a lot uh, when people are excited. You know, you know, that, that Illinois offered them. Illinois is a basketball school, and um, you know they're super excited to want to be a part of something like this. And you know, I hope I hope that everybody realizes that you know we're right there with some of the best of the best. And we're capable of, of doing this every season because um, we got great guys around us, uh, great staff, and uh, great fans, and everybody's great here. So, Nico, just with the, how would you describe the feeling of having that moment today? Um, needed because um, after I went through this season and with the injury, it was a little bit, um, um, as I said, hard, but. Uh, um, you know, I'm happy for the team, first of all, and then second, son of all, just myself. So, but um, that'll be a boost of confidence, and um, I'm happy. Anything else for players? All right.